Sean. I like you playing along there. Thank you, sir. What's your name? John? John or Sean? John. John, nice to meet you. John, where are you from? Okay, North Belmore. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, he comes all the way from Nassau County. Please put it together for John! That's all John gets. Come give it up for John! All right, John. Now, John, you, you and Pam are going to be working together tonight. Have a little handshake so you can meet Pam, John, John, Pam. Yeah, there you go. That's okay. And do you guys mind another little hug? Because hugs are important. Everyone says, ah, you want to just get in there a little hug? Ah, uh, that's nice. Now, how about for me? John? He's like a teddy bear. I want to take him home. Will you come back to Brooklyn with me after the show? I'm joking, John. All right. I like girls. So that's okay. I think I felt something move. I don't know if it was him or me. I think it was me. Okay, moving on. Here we go. Uh, and I, I'm not going to take the jacket from you. Don't go away. I'm going to give it to John. John, I want you to take the jacket. Check it out. Examine it. Make sure it's real, authentic, and just like the one you have at home under your bed. Am I right? Ah, he's a crazy man. Pam, you get this. It's a stopwatch. And pop that around your neck. We'll use that in a moment for right now you can relax, okay? All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I did promise you here tonight that I would attempt to break a world record escaping from that straight jacket. Now, that record was actually set over 100 years ago, back in November of 19... Back in... Can you get your butt pants done? Back in November of 1921 by Harry Houdini. There's more. Houdini escaped from this type of jacket in a record-setting time of one minute and 50 seconds. One minute and 50 seconds. A time I will attempt to break for you here tonight. Shy. Okay, now the pants. No, okay, one minute, 50 seconds, I try to break the world record. Uh, now, you're going to turn open that up for me, John. I'm going to dive in this one, okay? Now, there are three straps in the back. You can start from the top, work your way down to the bottom. When you're done with those three, you do the one for my arms. Then, Pam, I'm going to trust you with this, because John was a really tight hugger, and I don't trust him. I mean, he's a nice guy, but the hug was a little bit tighter than I expected, so I'm going to give you this one to help me out. In just a moment, Pam, but I'm glad that you're excited about it. <laughs> Just rush right in. All right, let's do this. And now also, Pam, more importantly, you're my official timekeeper, okay? I am going to try to break a world record escaping from the straight jacket. Pam will keep track of the time to see if I actually do it. Here's how it'll work. As I begin to escape, you'll call out every 10 seconds as you see them pass. Just say 10, 20, 30, and so on. So when you get to one minute, what are you going to yell? One minute. Don't yell 60. You might confuse me. I'm not that bright. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so then minute 10, minute 20. So Pam, when you get to a minute 40, there's only 10 seconds left for me to break the record. If I'm not out of this jacket yet, which is very likely, I need you to count those last 10 seconds down one at a time. 10, 9, 8, so on. Got it? Okay, so folks, when Pam gets to a minute 40 seconds, means the final 10 second countdown, everyone here watching, you'll all help her out and count along with her, right? Yeah. If I do escape in those last 10 seconds, breaking the world record, you will scream and applaud wildly, right? Chanting my name, right? Yeah. Pulling out your wallets and showering me with money, right? Yeah. Thank you, Paige. Really <laughs> wants yes. Okay, John, you gonna take that, please? Put it through the hole in the other sleeve. Pull it back on itself. Put it through the buckle. Now, John, once you have it through the buckle, you can put your foot, your knee, your elbow into the middle of my back to make it as tight as you can. No, over here, up on there. See the buckle? Yep, just on there. So pull it right through, and then you can crank on it. Make it as tight as you can to make this an official skate. You gotta make it tight. Go a little bit more. Okay, oop, ow, okay, it hurts. But I like it. <laughs> okay, great, John, thanks. All right, Pam, now it's time for the crotch strap. I know you've been waiting so patiently for this. You're gonna stand here where I draw the heart. Okay, I'm gonna swing it forward. The strap, and I want you to grab it, so aim low. Oh, hey, uh, hoop, uh, Hi you gotta kind of go for it. It's not gonna levitate to your hands. This isn't the magic portion of the show. Hi oh, you got it. Okay. Put it through the front loop. With two hands pulled to you. Okay, good. Okay, let it go. Okay, now you're gonna come from behind. Did you get it? Okay, you got it. Good. Now you see the silver clip with the teeth. There's a hole in the bottom. Feed the strap through the hole. Pass the teeth, the little tug, through the hole, pass the teeth, and give it a little tug. You get, yeah, open it up, and then it's just, it's an alligator clip, you got a little tug. Okay, whoop, okay, whoa, ho, hey, hey, that was hard, it's a straight yank, and then a little 
Tuck at the end there. That was more than I needed. Okay, promise I'm bent over. Not your fault, but I do have to stand up. Don't touch it now. Please step away, Pam. Uh, okay, three, two, one. Ow! Okay! Okay. Um, would it be distracting too if I did the rest of the show like this? All right, hold on. Let me adjust. Give me a second to adjust. Hold on. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now I have one on either side of the strap. Better for me. Okay. On the ground you have 40 feet of chain. My chains of fear. Come on, everyone. My chains of fear. And I only do the chains for a good audience, but it's very difficult to escape from them, especially while strapped in a straight jacket. So if you want to see me try to get out of the chains, I need to hear you say, yeah! Yeah! Shoot. All right, John, can you grab that chain with the red tape right there in the center? You're gonna bring it towards me and place that on the back of my neck, okay? You'll be on my left side, and Pam, you'll be on my right side, okay? And right, here's what I'm gonna do, you can let it go. Let it go. Okay, I'm gonna step through the chains. I'd like you both to take it now where it's resting by my ankles. You're gonna bring it behind my back, drape it over my shoulder, keep it close to my neck, and tie it between the legs, yeah? Put, just put it there, no, on the same side, same side, John. You're on, yep, just drop it right there. I get it close to my neck, right up there, right up there, and pull up all the slack from the back. Yep, there you go, perfect. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing a second time, so you're gonna go behind the back, over the shoulder, close to the neck, tight between the legs. Okay, pull up the slack on yours, John. Okay, great, Pam, you're doing great. Now we're gonna cross the chain in front. So, um, John, you're gonna take Pam's chain. Pam, you go ahead and take John's chain. Take a couple steps aside. Watch the tail right behind you, Pam. Okay, you get, pull up the slack on the chain. Good. Okay, a little lower, John. Okay, cross, yep, just there, that's fine. Cross the chain behind my back, keeping it tight. Cross behind Pam. Cross, Swap, switch sides, or switch chains, whatever you need to do. Okay, let's make a straight line. Straight line and pull out the slack, so pull Pam. Pull John. Okay, pull, get, just yeah, get the slack out. John, give a little tug. Okay, that's fine, okay. Easy, tuck, tuck, cross in front, cross in front. Great, behind the back again. Rah! Rah! Woo! Nothing, I'm laughing at me. Okay, behind the back, back around the front. Hand your chain to uh, John to hold. And can you get the two locks from the tail behind this pan? Now, John, there are two locks, two ends of the chain. One lock goes on each end of the chain. So one lock for you, one lock for Pam. You're not going to lock the ends together. You're going to put the locks in the very last link. So one, no, one in each. Yep, Pam, you give that to John. Okay, now guys, just swap the whole stuff. Yep, yep. pull it across my body. Lock it to the chains already around me, anywhere you want. Yep, whatever you feel good about it. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I have here 40 feet of chain, two locks, and one straight jacket. Either this is going to be amazing, or I am an idiot, or both. It could be both. All right, John, you've helped put me in the straight jacket and the chains. Will you say everything's very tight and secure? Yes. You feel good about that? Yes. Okay, I want you to stand right here, John, in front, facing the audience. Folks, as you know, this man's name is John. He comes all the way from Nassau County. Tonight, he was kind enough to help me entertain you. I think he did a terrific job, and he's a great sports lover. I'm going to put your hands together. Give it up for John! Thank you, John. You can go back to the safety of your family in the audience. Pam, two things. First, that key. Pick it up, show everyone that key. That key, obviously, is for the locks that hold the chains around my body. The audience here asks to see me get wrapped in the chains. They don't want to see you help me out. So no matter how much I struggle and fight, no matter how much I beg and plead, don't succumb to my personality or charms. Don't unlock the locks, okay? You can clip the key right onto the string that's around your neck so everything stays in one place. Okay. Now, um, the stopwatch is only for the straight jacket, not for the chains. Don't start until I 